Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day two of the making of the layouts for Build a Page for the month of August. I did want to start out by sharing yesterday's layout because after I turned off the cameras, I did make a couple changes. Um, I like the idea of the sheep over his head because I think of counting sheep. However, after I looked at it more, it just seemed very top heavy. So I ended up taking the little sheep and or lamb, whatever you want to call it, and put them at the bottom. And then I moved some of the phrase stickers around. So the a gift from God above I had over here and I moved it over here with this little cluster here. And then I thought the sweet dreams went well with the mobile. And then over here, um, because this is the clouds and the moon, I thought the phrase that had been up here you are my sun, my moon, and all my stars was a perfect fit there. And to me now I have that, you know, that triangular cluster and it, it seems more balanced than when I had everything at the top, it just seemed off. So anyways, I just wanted to share that a um, little bit of a difference. Sometimes, you know, you just, after you, you sit on it and you marinate it for a while and you go, eh, something doesn't feel right and I just did a little bit more shuffling and now I'm happy with how that one looks. So we're going to go ahead and do um, today's in real time that way I don't have to do any editing and I can um, try and get this up earlier in the evening for you and I'm going to try and make it quick so I don't know how much battery I have left on my phone. So um, again, we're moving the sticker sheet forward. This will just be off to the side. So if there's, um, I feel like I'm missing anything, I could pull this over. I have all of the three by four cards that we cut apart yesterday. I have still that little piece of um, sticker. I'll just throw this on here. Um, so I can remove that wax paper. I have the sticker book that I can still grab at. And then I'm taking any of the scraps that I had from yesterday's layout and I'm moving them forward. So they're just off to the side. And then here is the embellishments that we picked. And the two photos that we're gonna be doing is my grandson, Dylan. He is my oldest and he is absolutely thrilled with um, Everett and being able to hold him. And it was kind of cute because they had their Nerf War party on Sunday and he had to have his turn at holding Everett and unfortunately we have that heat spell coming through Illinois right now today it's really hot but Sunday was really sticky and Everett was just not a happy camper so he didn't get to hold him as long because he was kind of fussy but um, I love how much he adores being a big cousin and um, excited about that so again I think what I want to do is what we had talked about. I think what I want to do is, first of all, I want to gut this out and use this inside as my frame. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take the branding strip off, first of all. Put that to the side. Now, with a like the frisk. Fiskars type um, trimmers. What's nice about these is that you can maneuver them to the middle of your page. So what I'm doing is, is I have my blade all the way up here and I'm lining up so that I'm using the guide and now I know where I'm going to cut when it comes to um, this line of blocks. And I'm just now going to move it and looks like they're two inch blocks. So I'm moving it to the two inch mark and then I'll cut to the 10. And now I have that one slit and it's right on those blocks. So again, I'm gonna slide my blade all the way to the top so that I can line up this my guide with this section. Now that I have this row straight, I'm gonna slide my blade down again to the two inch mark. And once you push down on it, it pokes through the paper and allows you to cut. And then again, I'm gonna go all the way to the 10 inch mark here. And now I've got these two cut. 
and do the same thing again, just turning the paper and lining the guide. And I'm just gonna go backwards and go from the 10 inch to the two inch. And one more turn. And line it up. Move it to the two and down to the 10. And now this is gutted, makes it real simple. Now we can measure if you want this inside piece. So we know it's gonna be square. So this is now an eight by eight square. I want enough of an overhang that I can go and get my matting on. So now what we need to first do is decide what I want to mat it with. Oh, hang on, sorry about my reach here. So I can either go busier or we can do like we did yesterday. Yesterday we went ahead and um, we did where we had the yellow as a little bit of um, a break between these. So I could do the same thing. So if we go eight and a half by eight and a half on the yellow, it's not gonna cover up too much of the blocks. And then I can use the pattern paper for the center. To me, the stripes too much for my taste. Um, the pictures really don't warrant this. So I may end up not even using that. And we had been thinking about using this side but now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like the plaid. It's a nice pattern. It's tone on tone, so it's not super, super busy. And then we still have this yellow now that we could use underneath to go and maybe add the matting like this. So let's go ahead and do the eight and a half by eight and a half. All right, and then for the plaid, we want to take it down a quarter of an inch so that we leave it a little bit, you know, have our, our little bit of a matting. So now we're gonna do, let's go eight by eight. We can always take, well no, actually once I take it eight by eight, it's, it is what it is, but it gives another quarter inch. I think it'll be fine. Now I have lots of cardstock, so I don't think I need to um, gut this. And it, by leaving it at a full piece, it just gives it a little bit more stability than if I was to gut it. So I'm gonna go ahead and forego that and just do the, um, not gut it again. If it was a fancy piece of paper that I really wanted to use part of it on my layout, I could you know, make a one inch wide frame going around this yellow piece too. But like I said, I have cardstock. Um, it's not something that's of short supply in my stash. So um, I don't think I need it. Now I'm just gonna try and find what appears to be the center. And I'm looking at like the end of the block here and the end of the block here and where they pick up on the sides and just trying to get as straight as possible. Um, you could go and use your, um, I have a T-square ruler. I could use that if I wanted. Um, I'm just eyeballing it. No one is gonna go into your albums with a ruler and go, oh, you're off a little. You might, because I'm always more critical of my stuff than other people. And the flaws tend to stick out more than, um, you know, like yesterday, looking at my layout after I um, finished putting it and uploading everything, it was still bothering me. So, but for the average person that's looking at your book, they're not gonna care. All right, so I know I want my pictures like this because Dylan's looking this way 
And so I do want the focus of him looking this way. But what I might do is I might trim a little of this off. Hmm. Let's see, because I have the embellishments and so I can build around it. And I don't want to cover up too much. And if I go, if I take them on straight, um, or I can go like this. Going off the page, nope. Yeah, let's first of all, I know I want to kind of trim this down. So we're gonna make it a five inch high. And again, it gives me then a place where I can put the title. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit off the side here and maybe the side here. Um, I don't want to cut his toes off because to me, baby toes are like so cute. So when I'm trimming a little bit off the side, what I'm doing is, is I'm again going to use the guide and right here at four and a quarter for this picture, I'm not taking anything off that's going to be important. I'm just taking some of the blanket off. And even though I took a little bit of Dylan's hair, it's not anything that maybe if I had been pointing the camera at him, it would have been the same thing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take a quarter inch off of this one as well, so that they're the same width. Again, I'm not losing anything by what I took off of the picture, but what it's gonna allow is for these now to be within that blue frame, which is what we want. Now, I have to decide what I want to do. I could go I'm wondering if I could even take this one down by and make this five inches because I'm thinking I could then build a shelf. So we're going to take off and leave the toes. And then I, I, what I'll do is I visualize and I go, okay, here's at five inches and here's where it cuts. If I take that much off the top of Dylan's head, am I taking away from the picture? And right there, I can visualize that no, it's not gonna affect it. If it would, then I can just go ahead and move my guide. But here at five inches, I'm just taking the little top of his head off. And again, it's not taking away from him at all. The fit picture's still good. But now I've got these photos that are the same. And now what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is maybe build a banner going across each way. So let's go ahead and we'll cut this at two inches. And I'm gonna want two of them because I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of creative maneuvering since the width or the, it won't work all the way. So now I can overlap. here and if I fishtail it here let's go okay so we have that together I'm not going to mat the photos because then it takes too much in now I do have this little seam right here one of the ways that we can solve that is I can go and put like this um, little hold, I can start building a cluster right here and I can cover that, um, that seam. And I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. So let's go ahead and we're gonna glue this down and then I'm gonna fishtail it.
and I'm just cutting up the center and then I go from each corner and make my fish tail. Now I go to the corner to the top of the first cut, corner to the top of the second cut, and now we've done our little fish tail. And I think that looks good. All right, I think I want the height to be like right there. I'm liking this. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna tack this down. And I'm just checking the width on each side and then how much I have up above. And it's leaving just enough that I can go and like add an embellishment up here like the so cute like a tab and it looks like it will all belong so now that i'm happy where that is oop, i'm gonna straighten it a little bit i'm gonna glue this one down Okay, and then we're gonna glue this down. Okay, happy with that. Now one of the other things that I could do is I could see if I can find something that would also tuck under that would go here that we could build upon. That to me looks too busy though. You've got that pattern, the stripes and all that. So not real thrilled with that one. We are doing all the little foxes, so that might work. That would blend in too much. This isn't bad. Because again, I'm gonna have all the, the little clusters and I can maybe cover up this little corner. We'll see. And I think I'm gonna trim a little of it off the bottom so it's not so far down. like that and now we just start building so I think this is so cute again I think it as a tab would be cute let's go ahead and build that one here and then when I'm layering things I'm just looking at where I can put things in so again I don't want to cover his head so if I turn it the rattle will be cute here because now the ribbon comes off the side. Kind of like the little train, actually. As much as I don't want to stack it, I kind of like this here. I'm going to line it up like this and then maybe have the train going this way okay I like that better now if you wanted you could go and get you know your um, foam tape and pop things up I'm being a lazy scrapbooker right now and I'm not doing that I 
And now to kind of blend that corner that I didn't like, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this embellishment here. And it says, hold him a little longer, rock him a little more, tell him another story, let him sleep on your shoulder, rejoice in his happy smile. He is only a little boy for such a little while. And just, you know, again, this is my oldest grandson who's no longer little and then my youngest. So I think that kind of fits. And I've got that little gap there, but this little sweet moments will kind of now bridge that little bit of a gap. Now it's all together. And now I don't have that awkward corner here. So now I think the next thing I want is cousins. I'm just gonna build that across. Okay, I like that. Now we've got a little fox down here. I would like to have a little fox up here, and I don't necessarily care about that pacifier, but having a little fox cover him up, now I like that corner a little bit better with bringing that fox in. And then we have the one that's sleeping, and I think I want him to be like right here maybe. And then we need one more like embellishment area. So we've got the baby bottle. Where can we add him? Actually, I like this, and those have the little fox building. The baby bottle is a little bit bigger, so it's more like a foundation that you can build upon. Now we've got the little fox sleeping on it, and now I can go and I can put the little word handsome below cousins. And now I've got this you are so loved. And... Maybe I'll do that. And then put the handsome up there. Okay, I like that. Um, I kind of like the little fox bouncing here. So now I've got the three. That's not bad. I have the baby snuggles. It's a little wordy right here, so I don't necessarily want to add more words down there, but um, maybe I can go off to the side a little. that either. Now like I feel like I'm forcing it just for the sake of forcing it. Maybe I'll just do the baby snuggles on here. All right.
All right, I like that. All right, I'm gonna carry over these two little ones. Other than that, I think I've used everything. It looks to me balanced. Um, we have the little fox in three places. Well, four if you count this one. We have the little rattle, so it kind of fills out this corner. Cousins, you are loved. They're both handsome. Cute, so cute, baby snuggle. And then, and it's not taking away from Dylan and Everett. All right, we're going to call this one done. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed this and um, are enjoying the fact that you don't have to use anything tricky, um, you know, to, I'm not bringing in a lot of stuff. Um, I'm just using an Echo Park uh, kit. You can get them on sale at the Echo Park warehouses and you're still coming up with a cute um, layout for the book. You can go to the extreme. Like I said, you can pop things up, add enamel dots and all that. But if I did nothing else with this, I'm happy with this going into the book because the important thing is the picture. I'll write a little bit down here about Dylan uh, meeting his cousin and how he didn't want to put him down and put the date that they met. So, and then also um, I had somebody ask about my folders. I know I've showed them on the, um, page or on the channel before but for any of you who is wondering about these these are just office supply folders they are an eight and a half by eleven and they are just like an office one but with the accordion side so they're like a pocket and all I do is I put all of my embellishments for my theme in here and then I just did my dino dymo label sticker on here for what's in here so in this pocket is all baby embellishments and I have one that's like for animals and one for camping and one for sports if you have a larger theme like let's say we have more football than we have all the other stuff I could add a football one and then they're just in alphabetical order on a shelf that I have in my room but now when I go to make a layout that I know is for a themed item like a baby album I know I can just grab the baby embellishments and it's not all of my stuff, but I have a good hunk of stuff in this folder that I can reach for. So anyways, just thought I'd share that since I had somebody asking about it. So thanks again. You all have a wonderful day and we will see you again tomorrow for the third layout in the series. Have a great day. Bye-bye.